my subscriber, how are you? And today I'd like to introduce a um, modification of a Wola such a Wi-Fi control. Now I, I've been uh, using a um, traditional remote control Wola shutter door for my home, uh, for my garage. And um, as the technology move on, uh, a lot of device is controlled by mobile phone app. Sometimes when you live in your home, you are a bit rushed. You forgot to uh, close the roller shutter gate or the shutter door. Then uh, what can you do? Either you go back home or you call someone to uh, close the roller shutter for you. Now this is my um, roller shutter remote control receiver and control unit. Okay, so it provides the control for this uh, motor door going up and down and uh, you can either using a remote control or you press this normal open button the contact is normal opened when you press it down uh, it closes the contact and then it would uh, close this door okay so if you are not at home, not much you can do if you forgot to close your water shutter gate. But nowadays, uh, we are using uh, Wi-Fi uh, smart home control for lighting, for many things. So now uh, I'm going to install a Wi-Fi control unit. It's able to um, parallel with this normal close contact switch. And then I can using my mobile phone app to switch uh, this uh, uh, water shutter door either up or down. And uh, at the same time, because you're doing something remotely, um, I do have a video surveillance system. So I can tell whether someone's standing near by the door, uh, which may cause uh, dangers to, or harmful to people standing <laughs> underneath the door. So always thinking about uh, safety. Uh, redundancy as well. My garage roller at the door is monitored by this um, uh, Wi-Fi doorbell. It has, has a camera. So before I am um, going to operate the uh, roller shutter door remotely, I'm, I have to uh, check the status of the door and make sure nobody there. And at the same time, uh, I also has another camera on the wall. Okay, this uh, D-Link Wi-Fi camera has a sound activation. If anybody open my shutter gate, the sound would trigger the uh, alert to this uh, D-Link camera, and then it will send a message to my mobile phone, and same as this uh, door gate uh, remote bell. It would uh, it had as a uh, infrared sensor. If there's any heat object moving close to it, it will uh, send me a information, tell me uh, something is activated. This alarm. Now this this Wi-Fi remote unit um, I purchased from eBay, and as you can see, it's ready to go. It is powered by. Um, a USB uh, power input. You can also using AC or DC between 7 to 32 volt. So a lot of uh, remote gate is using 24 volt. So um, you can just check your remote gate power supply because this is small electronic unit so it takes very small amount of uh, power or current from the power supply. So normally uh, you should have low trouble, but of course it's better check. Now, this is the uh, AC power terminal, okay. And next to the relay, there is a connector. They are clearly labeled. It. Okay, this connector in the middle is common, normal open, and normal close. And on the other end. This is the AC power in, and this one is the uh, USB power input. And on top of the power input, 
the button on the left is the Wi-Fi pair button. You press this button for about seven minutes, and then it will activate activate the pairing mode, and then you should be able to using the mobile phone app to pair with this remote unit. Uh, the button on the right is a uh, traditional RF remote control uh, button. You use this button to pair your remote control uh, with this uh, receiver unit. So everything is very simple. You don't need any uh, electronic uh, connection or solder anything. All you have to do is provide the power. I use a USB power it because it's simple and easy. You can anytime buy any um, power plug unit with the USB power. On the relay contact terminal, I'm going to use the command and the normal open. Okay. Um, the remote control, uh, the uh, RF remote control unit, usually just press the button maybe for a second. Okay, so you are able to program how this relay work. Okay, the minimum uh, close time is uh, 0.5 seconds, and then you can using the app to in increase the uh, close contact period. If you don't uh, configure it, it will um, either normal open or normal close when you press the button. So you have to refer to the menu to learn how, how to program the contact uh, close time. In here, I leave it as uh, 0.5 seconds. To set up this unit, it's very simple. Uh, basically, you connect to a power source. So I'm going to using a USB power. So once I plug in, you should be able to see the light flashing. Because I have already uh, paired the unit, so you can see now um, on the left hand side of the remote, uh, the Wi Fi pair button, the light stays on, means it has already connected to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi network. Now make sure. Um, when you set this thing up or operate this unit, you must connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, band. Okay, it doesn't support 5G, so make sure you connect to your 2.4G Wi-Fi network. Once this is on, now it's ready to talk to my mobile phone. Here comes my mobile phone. So my phone is uh, able to see the unit. If I press the button, the relay would momentarily uh, close for half second. Ah, I try again. Look at look at the LED light. This one is the uh, relay uh, indication light. When it's closed, it would turn red color. So if I connect the normal open contact to my garage remote button uh, in parallel, it will operate my re remote uh, water shutter door. It is very simple operation. Now here is the front cover of the glide roller garage door control panel uh, front cover. See, this is the uh, uh, roller shutter operate button on or off. You press it, just toggle the function of going up or going down. If you turn it over, you will see this uh, push button switch has a free wire because it has the uh, LED light uh, on the switch, so it is required to provide a um, power so the power connect to this uh, control while this plug 
the red one is the positive the black is the uh, negative or uh, on the terminal it says comma the blue wire is the switch okay when you press the button blue and black wire will closed okay currently the switch is normal open okay but once you press the button blue and black will close as soon as you release your hand it will open again what I need to do is tap into blue and black wire okay so I got two wire blue and black and I tap into this cable that means they are parallel and on the other end of this cable I will connect to a normal open terminal on this uh, terminator Okay, um, I have installed the uh, Wi-Fi control unit into the box and the power supply I joined from this uh, brilliant smart uh, Wi-Fi home plug so that means the power supply of my wireless shutter door control unit I'm able to remotely um, turn it on and off at the same time uh, there is a USB power output from this smart home park and um, it this uh, USB port has no uh, on and off control once you plug in it's always on okay so the power would be constantly um, provided to my control unit if I take it out okay I'll show you how it works all right okay now the plug already plugged in the line is a bit short that's how it works. See? I put the Wi-Fi control unit on the top and here is the switch contact. Okay. So put it back. Start the mobile phone here. Okay, you see that? Pata. Pass. Beautiful. Pass. 